Hello again folks, welcome back for another video in the RPG series. Today we'll go over our equipment screen. I know the last ones over the menus were kind of long, but I'm going to start dividing them into one video for the design, one video for the functionality. Keep the length down and then that way, if you need specific pieces, you can go to which one you need. First thing, however though, I want to do is uh, fix this fire pit. So I'm going to find it, edit it real quick, go to its viewport. For its static mesh, I found this one, fire floor one in the, inf that's not the right one, hang on, what was it called, fire floor detail one, okay, so fire floor detail one, it looks decent, they don't have any campfires, but I'm going to add a particle system to the middle of it and make it a fire. Where is just the plain fire? Come on now, there it is. Move it up a little bit. And that'll work for our campfire. So now we got that situated. I just wanted something there. But, uh, let's go set up our equipment screen right now it's pretty plain. So I'm going to right click this, duplicate, drag it over, scale it down to put it up top. Scale it in a little bit. There we go. Then I'm going to drag out a text block and set it to say equipment line it up s close to the middle, set it to italic that looks good then I'm going to right click this again duplicate one more time drag it over scale it a little about here and here because I'm only going to have four weapons in mine. You can have as many as you want, you just repeat this process over and over. This is not right, what is happening? Oh, color and opacity. Don't hit tint, hit color and opacity. I'm gonna make it kind of a dark grayish color for now. I'm gonna drag out a button, make it size 75, 75. Drag it to the center. Maybe I ought to make this a little bit bigger. But also shorter. Hmm. No, oh, wrong one. So, 150 on that one. Move it up to about here. I'm going to drag out a text and put on it. For this one, it's going to say wood sword, because this will be the first, you know, weapon that we got. Make it italic, and the font, 18. That fits decent. Then now I can, well, first let's fix our button up a little bit. I'm going to change its draw as to an image on the normal hovered and the pressed and on the hovered I'm going to set this V to about 0.1 so that it's a bit darker uh, looks like maybe the font needs to come down a little bit so now I'll duplicate that drag it over to a little bit underneath 1072 line up their x value and change this to say iron sword right click duplicate one more time 1076 no 1072 for this one um steel sword i guess Move this up a little bit, move this one up a little bit, right click, duplicate, drag it 
drag it down in place. And this one's gonna be my dragon blade, because in mine that'll be the ultimate weapon. It looks like I can actually set that to about here. Now I want to duplicate my gray block behind it, drag it over. Compile that. Duplicate my wooden sword. Set this to wood shield. That'll be the shield we got. Duplicate one more time. Drag it over. We only got two shields, so I'm just going to put that about here. Call it iron shield. That'll work. Fourteen, sixteen, and fourteen, sixteen. All right, grab this one more time, duplicate it. I want to shrink it down here and stretch it out this way, so that we can put it across the bottom. Grab a text block, set it about here. Weapon level. Duplicate that. Drag it down in place, about the same place this one's at, and call it armor level. And this is what we will have influenced by our armor kits and weapon kits and so have you. Now, let's right click and open our player. And, um,. In the base stats, we want to add a variable, call it weapon level, change it to an integer, move it up to just somewhere in our player base stats, duplicate it, and call it armor level. Compile, default them both to 1. In our equipment screen, we'll drag out one more text block. I'll first change that to italic. Italic. Maybe 20 on the font size. Italic 20. Justification right. 556, 556. We want it to be roughly the same height as the other one. Change it to a 1. Duplicate. Drag it down. We want the, y, the x value to be the same as the top one. So 1488. And then we want the y value to be the same as this. So that they're in line too. Now we'll Find the text here, drag out our player reference, get it, get weapon level, and then plug that in. Back to the designer, find that, player ref, armor level, and plug that in. Oops. That gray is kind of ugly, isn't it? Let's see, point zero one, point zero seven. Okay, I'm gonna change this to a blue. So, what is this point zero one, point zero seven, zero? Zero point zero one point zero seven. I like blue. It makes me feel like it's Final Fantasy related, so I'll stick with it. 
Alright, in the next one, we'll start getting these buttons to swap out our equipped weapon, and then these to swap out our equipped shield. So, make sure you save all that, and thanks for stopping by.